Charlie Watts. Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Ronnie Wood, Bill Wyman, and their entourage. Posing for photos now. Just think in moments they'll be here with us. They look pretty good. Keith and Ronnie look really happy. All right, I guess a few photos, then they'll be in here with us. The album is apparently just about done. I think they got most of it mixed. They're still working on it a little bit here in New York, I understand. Here they come. <clears throat> Over here to our left somewhere, we'll see them straggling in. All right, any minute, any minute, any minute. The door is open. I think we hear their little footsteps. We see a lot of flash bulbs. Somebody is coming. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Bill Wyman, Charlie Watts, Ron Wood, Rolling Stone. Good morning. All right, Bill. Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for coming. We know it's hotter than hell in here. Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm sorry we kept you a little bit waiting. We, we won't be here forever, so we just get it, do it very quickly. We're very pleased to announce that we're doing a big tour this year, which which starts in uh, September the 1st in Buffalo and goes on, and I think you've got all that in little bits of paper. Yes. And we've got a new album which comes out the last week in August, I think, or maybe the first week in September. Yeah, yeah. And that's called Steel Wheels, and the first single's called Mixed Emotions. I know you're dying to ask questions like, will this be the last tour you ever do? That's a good one, or uh, what's another one? How much money are you going to earn on this tour? That's a good one. Uh, and other things like that, but I won't preempt you completely. But do uh, fire away. Uh, if you want to ask any questions, I think you should just do it. Got an extra mic there. Very good, Bill. You like that? Yeah, that's yeah. Good. thanks. Mick, I'd like to say ask one question. There have been a lot, of there are a lot of, bit of rumors about who's opening up on this tour. Was it going to be Guns N' Roses? Was it going to be In Excess? But now it's going to be only Living color, or what's the what's the deal with opening acts? It's a negotiation. It's a negotiation. Okay. Are there going to be other opening acts besides Living Color? Yeah, a great group called the Negotiations. We we're going to have Aerosmith and Boomtown Rats <laughs> and uh, Guns N' Roses and that because it's that sort of band, you know, that's got a certain something about it. Living Color. No, there will be seriously, there will be some other acts in some places, uh, but uh, I will be announcing those later. Are there any other questions out here? Passing mics now. What is it? Boy Gary, 92.3 K Rock from the Howard Stern Show. Mick, all, with, with all the hype and, and all the rumors that we've been hearing with, about the fighting between you and Keith, the stuff that was on the cover of Musician, how are you guys doing now? What's the truth? What's going on? Yeah. Everybody's well, happy? The answer to that yeah. is we both gave up massacre. Um, we don't have fights, we just have disagreements. So everybody's happy now? Sure. 
and hot. Well put. Anyone else? Yes, Mr. Jagger, uh, Robin Carter from Fox Television. Uh, you had mentioned money yourself, and there has been quite a lot of talk about how much you would make on this tour. Some rock critics have charged that the only reason you're doing it is for the money. No, that's a who. Who said that? <laughs> who said that? What, what, about, what about love and fame and fortune? Have you forgotten about these important things? We're doing it for the glory, darling, the glory. Mark? Mark? I got a question for Keith. Mark McEwen from CBS News. The question is, you said you always wanted to see what rock and roll was going to be like as you got older, into your late 40s, early 50s. Well, you're there. What are we going to see that's different on this tour that we haven't seen before? I could answer that better in December, I think. <laughs> but at least I'm going to find out, right? A good bit of live music for a change. Okay, anyone else? Yeah, Brian Hendel from BH1. This is for the whole band. How would you describe the energy level 25 years ago to now? Same? Ask my wife. Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> Not bad, kind so of. How energy. would you describe the energy level? I'm sorry, what, how would you describe the energy level today as compared to 25 years ago? Hello, Mick. Jesse Nash from Hits Magazine. Uh, how do you feel uh, after you um, were inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame last year by Pete Townsend? Uh, do you plan on doing the same for The Who? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I said, Jesse Nash from Hits Magazine. I said, <laughs> last year you were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall right, of we Fame. We heard you. I'm giving, <laughs> I give it, we're giving Pete and hearing aids when we do that. <laughs> What, what, are your, what is your feeling about it? Are uh, you going to uh, do the inductions for the Who this year? We'd love to give it to them. We'd yeah? Love to, yeah? No I, comments? I think we've done enough for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay. Hi, Abby Kears from NBC The Source. Back in 81, and this is directed to Mick, they had an article in Life magazine about some of the uh, training physically. You went through all this training. What about this time around? What are you doing to uh, prepare for the tour? Well, I'm walking around Manhattan at the moment. I, I don't know, you should do a little bit, but I think, don't think I'll overdo it, you know. I think I've got to take it easy, so... I don't think I'll overdo the training. Just a little slow walking and Quick walk shopping, across the maybe. Himalayas. <laughs> Scott, come on, what you got? Go ahead. Is you have a mic or what? We're negotiating. I got one. Stand up. Is this your last tour? Is this finally your last tour? No. Oh, yes. Thank you. It had to come. Brilliant. Who was it? Thank you so much. That's a wonderful you question. You tell us. First asked in 1966. <laughs> okay. uh, no. Mick, is there any significance in you announcing the dates of this tour? just before the anniversary of you starting the band in 1962, which occurs tomorrow when you did a gig at the Marquee Club. Is there any significance to that? Are you listening? I, yes, yes. I, mean, I wish there was, very good but point. we didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't know that. wonderful historical I lost note. my diary. That this tour is not a historical tour as such, it's more of a 1989 tour. You know, I mean, I don't see it as a sort of retrospective or a farewell or anything like that. I see it as the Rolling Stones in 1989. I'm Celeste Ford with WABC TV. You said we were dying to ask you this, and you're right. Why wait? Why now get together for this album, for this tour? Why not? Can you elaborate? I can get very elaborate, but uh, when you got the guys together, then you take you, you take it. You know, I mean, these guys. If I can find these four, same as me. If I can get them all together, I'll do it. Scott? Scott Muni, NEWFM. Hi, guys. Hi, Scott. Welcome. Hi, Scott. This is the first of the uh, extended tours, as you've said, many more. Are you going to have supporting cast, people like Bobby Keys and that? Or are you going to invite other people to go on tour with you? Are you going to have Scott. a whole cast of characters? <laughs> you want a towel? Um, yeah. Yeah, I, ho I hope so. We're, we're, Primitive we're... pool. We're working on the guys, uh, the rest of the guys that'll be with us, but there will be other guys with us, yeah, a few. We got Matt Clifford. All right, great. And Hi, Chuck guys. Lavelle. Chris Shepard from CFNY in Toronto. Can you briefly describe the theme and the sound of the new album yeah, that we're going to expect? Steel Wheels, let's bust. Let's hear the new stuff, boys. Oh, we got the news? <laughs> you know how to work? This is what you call a sample. 
a free sample. I got a question for you. Mick. Thank you. Mick. I got a question. What about your Sue Fleming Australian Consolidated Press? What about your fans down under, Mick? We're going to see you in Australia? Uh, well, yes. Last year I was there, but we hope to go all around the world in one day. But who knows? Australia might yet get its turn. Okay. Last time we checked in with you, we saw you at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Since then, you've written an album. How did you write the album? How was the, the writing process done? It's very hard work. Very quickly. <laughs> and where? On, in the islands, uh, Montserrat, uh, Barbados, for the winter, you know, something to do. Keith, I'll have you take this one. Keith, this one's for you. If you were an 18-year-old rock fan, would you want to go see a 27-year-old band in a stadium or a young up-and-coming up and up and band in a club? If you had it to spend your 20 bucks on one or the other. It's not 20 bucks in a club. It would depend how good they are, man. 